will be. One interesting thing we discovered about pole shift and the movement of the poles is that the North Pole is not facing the same direction as it used to be. A few years, many years ago, it used to be here in point number one, but then it moved there to point number two, then it moved here to point three and point four. So it's the effect of that is the sun is hitting different areas of the pole. It is not as stable as we thought it to be. They thought that the poles remain constant. But now, map makers and map users have to consistently adjust their work to account for the difference because it's always moving. This is confirmed by my own brother who is a pilot in one of the major airlines in the country. He has a regional international route. And he said, especially after the Japan tsunami earthquake, we have to adjust our bearings because the map and the trajectory and the location of places in the world seem to have moved and we have to adjust our compass and our instruments, etc. Something is funny about the situation of the Earth, okay? The effect of that is unpredictable weather extremes, switching about from drought to deluge, and so on and so forth. But is there a an evidence that tsunamis themselves have increased. This is a report made by the scientists of the USGS, United States Geological Service. In a published article, they said that the long-term rate of global tsunami occurrence is approximately 7.4 events a year. But there was a prominent rate increase noted in the mid-1990s for a period of about three years when as many as 18 tsunamis occurred in a one-year period. And another rate increase began in 2005, 11 events a year average over the six-year time period. So there is an increase in tsunami occurrences. The worst and the most devastating tsunami in history happened in our time and in our generation with the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami which hit Banda Aceh among many other places. It is called a mega tsunami because the waves were 108 foot high. Can you imagine how high that would be? Almost a quarter of a million deaths and devastating nine nations, Thailand, Malaysia, Bangladesh, India, Sri Lanka, Maldives, Somalia, Kenya, Tanzania, in Eastern Africa. Remember what Jesus said in Luke 21, 25. There will be perplexity of the nations, plural, because of the roaring and tossing of the sea. One of the signs of the time. So we have entered tsunami season, storm surge season, one of the signs of the time, before the coming of the Son of Man before the so-called end of the age. Storm surge, this is what happened in Yolanda. We did not understand what a storm surge is. That is why in Tacloban, both the mayor and the vice mayor, whose houses are beautiful beachfront properties, they waited out for the storm in front of their houses. They did not understand what a storm surge is. And so now we are educated by the signs of the time because the Lord said, there shall be such things. Now we see, we leave the natural signs. There are many more natural signs, but for lack of time, because you will be even more boggled with the signs of the stars and the asteroids. But that's too much already, at least for this session. Maybe there will be a second round later on someday, I don't know. But let's talk about the Antichrist and the 666. Okay, we have always heard about this. Where in the world are we now? in terms of this mark or sign of the time. Remember the prophecy of John in Revelation chapter 13, where he said that there shall be a beast that will arise, also called the Antichrist. He will cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, 
and no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of man. His number is 666 or 666. Oh, we have heard this so many times in the past, in the movies. We relate this with demonized people, Antichrist, 666. But we never really quite understood how the system will work. But the Bible said this system will require every person to have a mark. Otherwise, you will not be able to negotiate or do trade or enter into official business. Question, is this really possible in the modern world that we live in? You will be shocked to find out. It is now a law in the United States of America. What is this number and how do you install it? By the way, please do not misquote me. I am not saying that the law is 666 or Antichrist. But I will just give to you the facts and you interpret. If this is the system that will pave the way for that thing to come. In the past, people thought that this is how it would be installed. Put a 10 10 10 mark 666 on the forehead. <laughs> Well, that will be very, be very unfashionable and uh, not looking very nice. Or maybe imprint barcodes on your forehead. No, that is not how it is going to work. Remember the prophecy in Revelation. The mark of the beast will be on the right hand or on the forehead. How in the world is this going to work? Here is the law. HR 3962, otherwise known as the Affordable Health Care for America Act. It is for all Americans. What does it say? In this health care program, there is established a national medical device registry device registry not a national medical registry but a national medical device regi registry take note of that word what in the world is that device registry okay 99 page 1502 of the law says here in in this section of the law the secretary shall establish a national medical device registry to facilitate analysis of post-market safety and outcomes data on each covered device. In this subsection, the term covered device shall include its class 3 device and may include, as the secretary determines, appropriate and specific in regulation, a class 2 device that is life-supporting or life-sustaining. What in the world is a class 2 device? A class 2 device according to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, is any implantable radio frequency transponder system for patient identification and health information. It is a chip that they will install in your body which contains your medical history and record. So that when you have an emergency, you do not have to bring all your envelopes and x-ray, etc., etc. Because all your data and information are already in this thing here that is so small. How in the world do they install something like this? Okay. This device, which contains all your health records and any other data, for purposes of patient identification and health information can be installed this way. It can be this way or it can be this way. They will plant it on your right hand, on your skin or on your forehead. And even the Catholic Church has monitored this and has raised an alarm because in the www.catholic.org website, they call this already the mark of the beast. Even the Catholic Church calls this the mark of the beast. Because this is very dangerous in their estimation. Okay? And there is a very, very cute and very small powder 
type of device called an L RFID powder, the world's smallest radio frequency identification chip, which has already been field tested in Japan to prevent ticket forgery in their IT International Technology Exposition. It is as small as this, which will enable government to monitor where you are and where you have been etc 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 you will ask why in the world would government want to do that on its citizens okay it has now been issued in wyoming as part of the new obamacare plan they already had it done and uh, the children are eager to receive this new rfid implant and they did this already in Wyoming. And that is why some of the concerned Christian groups have raised an alarm because many of them, of the children in Wyoming school districts were implanted with these devices without parental consent. In reaction, the states of Wisconsin, North Dakota, California, uh, Georgia and Virginia passed counter laws that will prohibit implantation of these devices without parental permission. But this device has already been used in Mexico City for the office of the Attorney General. All their employees are implanted with these devices so that they will be monitored whether they are snooping into sensitive evidence materials, destroying of evidence, national security matters. So they will know where you are, with whom you have been talking, where you have been having coffee. They will know where you are, what you have been doing, whom you have been talking to. And they are proposing to install this in the, in the office of the president, the armed forces, etc., etc., etc. Okay. What is the problem with this? Because so many are defending the virtue or the advantages of the system. Because they said, look, that's good for us. Because all your data, all your record, you do not need to bring your papers. We lose papers, certificates, uh, medical reports. Everything is just there. They just read it there and they know what to do with you. They will take care of you. That's very good. You do that in business, you do not need to bring all, all your accounts. They just read your forehead or your right hand. All your records are there, debit, credit. It is so good. It is so advantageous. The problem is this. Revelations 14, 9 to 12 says, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. Okay. So, now, please listen to me carefully. I am not saying that Obamacare is the mark of the beast. I am not saying that. I am just informing you that the technology for implementing the system of marking is now with us today. We are waiting for the revelation of the Antichrist who will make use of this technology for his purposes. What we are saying with emphasis is that it is not laughable anymore it is not impossible anymore that technology is already here what the bible says about the system of the beast the spirit of the antichrist you can already detect i'm speaking of the spirit of the antichrist not the antichrist himself or the system because there is a debate what is the antichrist is he a person is he a system i will leave it to you for you to debate for 20 years on end but i'm just telling you that the spirit of the antichrist is already here his antichrist spirit is already here how do you know that it is the spirit of the antichrist one symptom of the work of the spirit of the antichrist is that he will think to change the times and the set law. What God has ordained, the spirit of the Antichrist will change it. 
into a different law.